And how does it know what the material is? Yep, so there's an RFID tag hidden under uh, the sticker. You can see the outline of it. Yeah, you can rip it off. Oh, yep, there it is. So this is what the cartridge sits on. So what are we seeing here? This is a so scale, a little mini scale. So if I slam it, do I bend the load nope. cell? No, so there's a, a flexor on there that helps protect the load cell and keep it safe. And then there's... Oh, I'm gonna crunch, uh, gonna the, crunch the cartridge. <laughs> The thing you don't expect about these load cells, if you just hit them, they bend, and it now says a cartridge weighs negative 20 kilograms or something like that. Just even in this little cell, there's a safety mechanism that will, if you overload it, it will bend down and then hit a hard stop so you don't break the load cell. What are they, not Toyama, the little Japanese motors, is that what you're using for the bite valve? Yeah, it's a little uh, DC geared motor. Let's see if we can get it out. Don't tell me. I won't. <laughs> this guy out of here. So like something like this cartridge bite valve and the little motor that actuates it, how many people worked on that? How long did just that take? Yeah, so we had like probably two main engineers working on that. Um, we had somebody that was responsible for making sure that the cartridge was gonna do everything it needed to do and design the bite valve. And then we had another person designing all of the mechanisms and printer integration. The cartridge itself and the bite valve was a good like few months of, of development to try to get everything right. We probably went through- pretty fast. 